Hello esteemed guests and internet money masters welcome back to Tagzilla land where the hills are lush and green like money and the wine flows like the salmon of Capistrano. I'm going to take you through today how to find where your site's ranking on Google and even if your site is indexed in Google. So first we're going to show you the free way. There are a number of paid software applications you can look at out there that you can take your own time if you want to pursue those. I'm going to show you a free way. First we're going to need SEO for Firefox. So as you can see right in here, put that in the main Google search. Click Google search. Bring your screen over. As you can see right up here on this first listing, you'll click that. Takes you to the site SEO book. Scroll down. This, obviously if you're not using Firefox you'll need to download it by clicking this link. Once you have it, and I am using Firefox right now, you'll click here to install the SEO for Firefox extension. And Firefox does block pop-ups, so if uh, the software installation window appears, just click the install now. And if not, there are instructions on how, how you can tell Firefox that SEO book is an OK site and you actually want to download this extension and so you'll get that installed then you have to restart Firefox now the first thing we want to do is to check to see if you are indexed so I'm gonna go up here use this handy little search box up at the right of Firefox as you can see I've got the quotes around my phrase urinary tract infection I clicked in there in this upper right search box you can see highlighted in there hit enter and it's going to bring up the listings for the urinary tract infection as you can see and now you see the normal listings it's got the title the description and the address of the web page then it moves right into the title description address of the next page now when you've got SEO for Firefox as you can see right down here SEO this is the icon so wherever this happens to be along the spectrum of your gray bar down here depending on how many other extensions you have loaded look for this little icon SEO now it's grayed out now because I've got it turned off when you're searching around browsing around the internet you'll want to keep that turned off because it does get data and it takes some bandwidth and some memory so it'll slow you down a little bit so keep that turned off and only when you're testing out your search engine rankings do you want to use it so I'm gonna go ahead and left click to turn it on you can see now it turns into color click it again it's grayed out turns off click it again and turn it on now I'm gonna back to the search field I'm gonna hit this search button right here and as you'll soon see it is loading the new rankings and here you'll see the rankings are unchanged still the title description and the web address what's different is all this data now underneath it which is very cool as you can see this is the number one rank this is the number two rank and this is the number three rank you can also there's this question mark for PR if I click right there boom tells me this website is a PR3 I click on the number two ranked this is a PR5 so that's interesting how this lower PR site and PR is page rank it's a Google measure one of the things that factors into how high your site will be ranked and so the higher numbers the better it goes from 0 to 10 and so obviously the higher the number is the better so the higher page rank the more Google likes your site but there are other factors obviously and that's why this one with a PR3 is outranking this one with a page rank of 5 and you can click on any of these other question marks to get any of this other data like age I clicked on there and this site has been around since March of 2001 a lot of cool interesting data there you can get now really what we'll want to do is see that your site is actually indexed first so we need to you need to know what your site URL is so go to your site copy this and we'll go back in here 
we will paste that in, full URL, and hit search. Okay, as you can see, we did not match any documents. So I don't know, maybe I got placed in the supplemental results, also known as the sandbox. I know that a couple of my social postings are showing up. So I'm going to take off the HTTP now, search again, and as you can see, results 1 through 11. So this Tagzilla posting that I made, why you aren't ranking, I also got some member questions about people that were asking why their sites aren't ranking, why they aren't indexed. So this article, I talk about that, and of course I cite my project that I had that I'm working on. And you can see some propeller listings and other types of things. Here, this is my actual propeller listing that I posted. And so what I'm going to do is I know that that one's ranked because I've done this research before. So I'm going to take this title, um, let's see, Simple Relief Tips, and I'm going to see where that's ranked. So I'm going to go go back to the, get back here to Urinary Tract Infection Results or urinary tract infection with the quotes. Now what I can do to search all the text on this page is I can do a text search. So I'm going to hit the control key, hold it down, hit the F as in Frank key. And as you'll see it brings up the find field down here right above the gray you got the gray bar down here at the bottom that has your SEO PageRank, Alexa, I have some other extensions. Right here above that is the find field. So I've typed in simple relief. I'm going to click the next button. Boom. It takes me straight to it. I don't have to scroll. It highlights it. And this is my listing. Propeller.com, simple relief tips and cures. As you can see here, page rank is zero for this one page on Propeller. Propeller itself has page rank. Number 25, so I know I'm the number 25 listing. So if I want to boost my rank, I'll need to build some links and other things to it. But this is results 1 through 100. So I know I'm the 25th rank site. I can go right back to it. There you can see. It takes highlights it right back to it with one simple click. Instead of me having to scroll, you know, scroll down, search through, endlessly strain my eyes very inefficiently and I've got I list 100 results per page your screen's gonna get blurry there as I scroll down to the bottom but if my site hadn't been listed there I would click to page 2 and then I would put the search phrase that I was going after there now most of the time you'll type in your, your search phrase to see what comes up urinary track and as you can see it takes me to the result number 76 on this page and those are the only two on that page and this is page two though as you can see right here results 101 through 200 so when I click next if this or what I was looking for urinary track and this was my site number 76 here SEO for Firefox resets with each page of Google results you do so this is number 76 on this screen and since I have results 101 through 200 obviously that site was ranked number 176 so accordingly if we go down to page 3 you can see when the results finally load as you can see it takes a little time with this we'll click next and it's grayed out so there are no results with this listed on there. See if we put a space if it'll find results. Okay. Clearly there are a number of results that are highlighted in here. Number one on this page is number 201. So take a note of that. That's how you can quickly and easily find first I showed you type in your full URL and then take out the HTTP if your full URL isn't indexed to see if any of your other postings are indexed and then just click on your main phrase you can use the quotes to find the phrase match or the broad match and then search page by page using this find feature to find where you're listed. That's how you use SEO for Firefox. You guys have a great day.